Alrighty, what's going on guys? I do have a beard. Uh, someone commented on the last video, nice beard, bro. Well, I just had a baby girl, so I'm not gonna be shaving for work. We have to shave all the time, so now that I'm off, I'm not gonna shave. So I should be off another three or four weeks. This video is gonna be the last video in my truck. The next video is I should actually be out fishing, but I had a lot of people asking me this question on uh, Instagram, Facebook. I even got an email on it. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, follow me right here, Facebook. Also, if you guys wanna send me an email, stoicoutdoors at gmail.com remember once we hit 5,000 subscribers gonna be doing a really big giveaway mr. Jacob with tails up charters offered up to give a free weight fishing trip for one also am fishing lures they put together a little a little price pack for you guys thank you guys also with a uh, trophy line stringers so I appreciate each and every one of you guys let's get into the video so the question that I had was specifically for AM fishing lures. You guys know that I've been using their lures for a long time on my channel. I use them for fresh water, salt water. So a lot of people wanted to know what colors would I recommend or what colors should they throw depending on the water clarity. Uh, so this video is primarily based down here in the Rugan Valley, Port Mansfield, South Padre Island, and Arroyo City. Of course, if you guys are up the coast and you guys are watching this video, try out these tips and hopefully they'll help you guys out. So this video is gonna be broken up into two water conditions. I know it's not always gonna be like that. It could be a mixture of clear and dirty water, but for this video, let's just stick to the basics. The first uh, water clarity we're gonna talk about is clear. I'm talking where you can see the lure within inches from the surface. You can see all the way down to the bottom, sandy bottoms. Uh, the lure that I like to throw in this situation is rose gold and money i'm going to overlay a lot of video that you guys can actually see me throwing these lures in these conditions i've thrown different colors and i've had the redfish and trout come up to the lure they'll see it they'll they'll think about biting it and then they'll end up turning away so i switch lures switch lures switch lures until i found the right color these are the colors that i like to throw which is bros gold and money if you guys have been having any success with any other colors drop a comment down below let's make this a, a learning environment for other people to come on over and to get some tips the next water clarity we're going to talk about is dirty water uh, i went out with mr slime charters about a, a couple months ago and uh, i was throwing midnight mullet from am fish lures it's like a grayish color darkish color and i would throw it out there in the murky water and those redfish were absolutely hammering that lure I also switched over to toxic, toxic root beer. It's a darker color as well. And I cast it out there and I was having the same effect. So those are the four colors that I like to throw. Just remember guys, whenever it's dark water, try, try to use a darker color. If it's light, clear water, try using a more natural, lighter color. Here's some extra tips for you guys. I've actually thrown atomic fire barely in both conditions and I've had some, some success. I've thrown pink punch and I've had some success as well. So just because that lure is what I'm telling you guys to throw, hey, just switch it up, try whatever color you guys want and see if it produces for you. Now these are just colors that I like to throw. If you guys like to throw any other specific uh, colors, drop, drop a comment down below, man. Let's make this a learning environment. Also, here's another tip. Whenever it's uh, cloudy in the morning and the sun's barely coming up, there's a color that I've been throwing from AM Fish and Lure that has produced a lot of fish, chicken shark. It's a, like a neon orange color. But if you guys know, whenever it's uh, overcast and you throw that neon color out there in the water, that lure is gonna really stand out, man. Those redfish and trout, they're gonna be able to see it. And uh, that's just another color that I like to throw. Pink punch also is a good color for overcast conditions. Whenever it's raining, a little bit of a drizzle, you wanna throw something that, that catches the redfish and trout's eyes. So try those colors out, man. See if they see if they work for you guys. So I am I am pretty curious. What is your favorite color? If you had to throw one color from AM Fish and Lures, what would you like to throw? Drop it down in the comments. Let's see what the number one answer is going to be. For me, if I were to have to throw one color for both conditions, uh, pretty much if I only had that color to throw for the rest of my fishing career, I would be throwing Atomic Fire Belly. It's a green on top, white on bottom, but I've thrown that color. In both conditions, like I said earlier in the video, and I've caught a lot of fish. So I'm just curious, what is your favorite color to throw from AM Fishing Lures or Down South or uh, Kelly Wigglers? Let's just make this a learning environment. It doesn't have to be AM Fishing Lures. Let's see what color you like to throw. So thank you guys for watching this vi video. Remember, clear water, lighter, more natural lure, dark water, darker colors. That's pretty much the gist of this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. This video is going to be a quick one. Probably going to be five, six minutes. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Remember, be resilient on the water and off.